welcome to St. Helens Road in Bolton. We're here to look at this two bedroom penultimate terrace, which is offered for sale with early vacant possession and no further upward chain delay. There's a couple of things I'm gonna tell you about before we go in. Firstly, previously in the history of this property, the big front bedroom was split and created two bedrooms out of it. So it was three bedrooms at one point, so maybe it could be again. And we've got an electric secure up and over roller shutter door to the rear, which gives private off-road parking for two cars. I will take you outside, we'll have a proper look at that, of course. This is the street scene. This is Friday, about half past four. Perfectly placed for just keeping on going up towards the motorway. It's popular schools, shops, it's houses of worship. It's easy to get to the motorway actually from here. This is the way back into Bolton Town Centre. It's a superb property this. Let's go inside and we'll have a look around. Welcome inside. So we've stepped in through, I'll just spin the camera around, through the entrance vestibule uh, to the front of the property and into the open plan lounge dining room, which has the UPVC door off to the rear garden. And I really like this uh, fireplace here. Really, really nice. Beautiful marble fireplace. We've got matching wall lights to either side of the opening, nice modern. LED lighting over the lounge area. This opens up here into the dining space, which is flooded with natural light. I'll just come round to this corner and just give you a proper view all the way back. So we've got the spindled open tread stairs off up to the first floor. I know it won't come through on the video, but nice thick carpeting, neutral decorations. And I've been advised that at the front of the property, and of the rear here, in the, to be honest, in the sections where the coving's missing, if you can see that at the front and up here, the wall has been studied out and additional insulation has been fitted. So I believe that it's a very, very warm house and an economical house to run. As we spin round, we step into the kitchen. Really nice gloss finish on the cabinets, matching drawers, base and wall cabinets. We've got integrated fridge, integrated freezer, lovely modern black scratch resistant sink with mixer tap over, very, very light in here. We've got two windows and the UPVC door. It's a Worcester gas combination, central heating boiler, built under oven with grill and electric hob with slide out extractor really really stylish lovely finish on the kitchen absolutely gorgeous we'll have one last look just at the open plan dining and living room and then we'll pop upstairs and have a look at the bedrooms and the bathroom So we've stepped upstairs and we're on the first floor landing. We've got nicely decorated walls, quality carpeting. You can see the spindles there and just see you've got your bearings. That's the other view down to the uh, dining area. Now, first of all, we're going to look in the main bedroom, which is at the front. So we've got two windows in here and lovely. I'll try not to show too much of myself in that mirror and put anybody else off. Lovely professionally fitted bedroom furniture. Superb range of wardrobes, bridging cabinets, drawers, storage space. But one of the things I just want to mention, maybe in a little bit more detail, and if we look back from here, you might see it. Just there on the ceiling line, you can see where, where it comes through, where there was a previous internal wall, which separated all of this space. So it would have had one bedroom to the left-hand side here, and another bedroom to the right. Now, I would imagine that's probably where the door was. So at the minute, we've got a lovely big master bedroom with loads of fitted furniture, which comes back behind there. And as I open this up, you'll get an idea for just how deep it is. So it goes quite a way back. 
So potentially, if it was important to anybody, there's maybe the option of putting it back how it once was as a three bedroom design. Just a thought, might be useful to some and of no interest to others, but it's there and it's a possibility. Second bedroom, again, very generous size, a double bedroom, quality fitted furniture, wardrobes to either side, bridging cabinets, bedside units, fitted drawers, nice big, UPVC double glazed window. This gives us the access, uh, sorry, the aspect over the rear garden. The roof over the kitchen extension looks, looks good. And we've got drop down ladder access up into the loft space. Radiator in here, again, neutrally decorated. And then we step into the bathroom. So it's a white three piece bathroom suite white ceramic wall tiling, pedestal wash hand basin, dual flush WC and electric shower as well. It's super built in storage space in here uh, where the tank would have been prior to the combination boiler, which is in the kitchen. It's the Worcester gas combination boiler. Uh, lovely bathroom, two good bedrooms, maybe a little bit of potential in here to do a bit more if you was minded to and I don't know if you can just see that there between between the houses. There's some lovely greenery in the distance. Absolutely fantastic. That's upstairs. Let's step outside and we'll have a look at the back garden. Welcome outside. So we've stepped out through the kitchen door and we're in the back garden area. Just first of all, you might have already seen it, but we've got the outside tap at the door out, of course, from the dining area and from the kitchen. And then we're looking back at the garden. Now, importantly, our clients have told us that they did previously park two cars. I believe it was a Mercedes and a Duke. Uh, nose to tail, but it was off-road parking for two cars. As you can see, we've got the electric roller shutter vehicle access door. That's working fine and as a spin round you just get a proper idea for how big it is really really good size you can see the extension to the ground floor where the kitchen is just the neighboring property there has gone up and done a dormer so there may well be potential to do more if you wish but this is a fantastic back garden area if you weren't going to use it for parking you could potentially have great space out here for entertaining Maybe even put some extra turf out for children's ties and whatnot. But for parking facilities, absolutely perfect. The big green shed is included as well. It's a superb property. It's in a great location. I think this one's going to be popular. Any queries, any questions, and to arrange a viewing, please give us a call. It's Cardwell's Estate Agents, Bolton, 01204 381 281. 01204 381 281.